Hi, I'm Danica McKellar from Christmas at the Drive-In on Great American Family, and this is What's in My Queue. Right now, my husband and I are finishing up Grace and Frankie. We have like three episodes left and it's so good. It's just a really sweet show and it's funny and it's, it's, it makes us laugh and just always makes us feel good. I think I've been big fans of, of both ladies forever. And I mean, I was actually, I worked with Martin Sheen on the West Wing years ago. Uh, it's just a fantastic cast. They're so talented. And from the first few episodes, my husband and I were hooked. We were like, this is an amazing show. It's impossible to choose a favorite character because there are times where I'm like, oh my gosh, Jane Fonda is the best ever. And then, you know, Lily Tomlin just says something so hilarious. And then of course the men are amazing as well. I understand Dolly Parton is in the last three episodes and we're about to start the last three episodes. I love Dolly Parton more than anything. I mean, hey, I just moved to Tennessee and I'm excited for those. The second thing in my queue, a very different show, Barry. That is just, an amazing show. We've only watched the first two seasons, but the whole premise of assassin turned actor is hilarious. For me, I love any show about the business because I find it really relatable and there's always inside jokes. Uh, I, Bill Hader is a genius. This is kind of a new genre for us. We don't really watch a lot of crime shows. It's really, I think of it as a comedy, really more than anything. The acting class scenes with Henry Winkler are just hysterical and he just nails that self-important acting teacher like to perfection. I mean the very first episode was immediately fantastic. The whole conflict that Barry has between his two very different lives is amazing to watch and uh, I've never gotten tired of it. The third thing in my queue right now is again a very different show, The Chosen. The Chosen is the story of Jesus Christ told like very relatably and uh, I just, it is so entertaining and heartwarming and life affirming. They just did a fantastic job and I also love that The Chosen didn't have a studio behind it. It was all crowdfunded. So it's really this grassroots effort to tell a beautiful story. I was really curious when I first heard about it, like what is this show that was crowdfunded that is telling like the oldest story from the oldest book? <laughs> in the world and they've just done a remarkable job and it makes you go well how come this hasn't happened sooner and a surprising thing about it is how much humor there is in the chosen so you think oh a story about the bible okay it's gonna be really dry and boring but like important no it's actually really entertaining it's suspenseful it's funny uh, the characters are so specific and and well drawn it's, like, it's a good show you should check it out if you haven't yet i can't think of three more different shows <laughs> I'm Danica McKellar and that's what's in my queue.